plastered all around the underground and it was basically asking if we were beach body ready but yet it had like the most chiseled defined s slimmer than Naomi Campbell body plastered on the wall now it kind of makes me think like what are the actual definitions of real beauty because I don't look like that and I don't know if you guys think you look like that but it's just kind of it's a weird one, isn't it? I don't it? even think the woman in the advert actually looks like that, to be I honest. Know. Exactly, it's Photoshop. Oh, yeah. Photoshop. <laughs> Photoshop. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, it's just a weird one. Like, I know we've got, like, Instagram kind of giving us, you know, the perfect waist, the perfect yeah. bum, perfect yeah. lips. But And it's just too much competition or yeah. too much, you know, expectation. It's yeah. a weird one. I mean, I think, for me, like, the perfect beach body is my body. Do you know what I mean? Like... However I am, it should be fine. I don't think anyone has a right to say, oh, beach body must look like this. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I, don't, I also don't like the term real woman curves mm -hmm. and stuff like that, because what does that mean? Do I don't you know have I mean? no curves, but I know I'm a woman. Like, yeah, 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 I agree. <laughs> but what does that even mean? Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I think it is a lot of pressure to have this but, beach body. Can, but. but if you think about it, like, when we are going on those beach holidays, everyone's trying to look a certain way Literally, to yeah, fit like, into whatever bikini. But is it society or maybe it's just us? No, it's society. It's society. Because we have to look a certain way to feel good. But then would you feel comfortable wearing a bikini with your belly and your fupa hanging out? No, no not at all. I would find something that I think would be appropriate for my body shape. Yeah, that's what so I'm saying. So yeah. I think it's also just, I mean, the whole beach body thing, if they were encouraging, you know, healthy living, then that's fine. But they had a mixed message, which was the words and the image that they used. So I can understand the whole, I would say, feminist uproar while they were like, yeah. why must I look like this before yeah. I'm accepted? Why can I not, hit, why can't I hit the beach? You know, well, if you I'm... think about it though, the guy who actually invented bikinis, yeah. he made them for slim women. women. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're large or on the larger side, yeah. I wouldn't advise you to be walking around in a bikini. That's but, me personally, yeah. because it doesn't look nice. Yeah. It doesn't look Facts. attractive. You can't have like your belly just hanging over your bikini bottoms and mm. like just fat. Like you can't, yeah. like, is, is that an honestly like a comfortable feeling? No, but well, well, but what if you're comfortable with it? What if you what, what if you feel comfortable like, with it? It then doesn't what? look nice. Yeah, like who to are you to who? tell me that you know I don't mean? look again, nice? Again, again, I just I just feel like we're being controlled. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm not trying to say I'm not part of the problem. Do you know what I mean? But I just feel like we're being controlled. For us to use those words, it doesn't look nice to look at. That's her body. Mm. So yeah. she's going on a holiday. She wants to wear a bikini. She's got a bit of a belly and she wants to tan her belly well, as well as her face. She can do it. It's her <laughs> body. Who are you? Like, These are telling you, yeah, if society wasn't so focused on it, then we wouldn't care either. All of yeah. us would just be yeah. free. free. Yeah. But do you know yeah. what I mean? It's just, it's, it's, it's too much. It's so too much control. Do you think that it starts in your mind? Like the way you view yourself, like inwardly, is how you're going to react outwardly. Yeah. 100%. Thinking. Yeah, that's 100%. true. No, but me personally, my body. I've gone on holiday. I went on, on holiday last w last year, and basically, I've got like a food belly. I call it a food belly, <laughs> and but I like it because I think it's me. I, like I want to know who and what are the society that is dictating this? Magazines, oh, magazines, celebrities. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily yeah, have to be the problem. We're part of the problem. I'm not gonna act like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's one of those things. I can't change it. Do you know what I mean? It's not something I can change. But but if we're complaining about like, it, why yeah. can't I we change it? I think it's what because society is just obsessed with like perfection. Yeah. You know, you've got to look. You know, that's why they Photoshop images on magazines. You've got to look perfect. You yeah. have to have your hair a certain way. You've got to look trim and be in a t I don't know certain physique. You just have to. So if we're taking everything that we see in magazine into reality or what we see on the beach, we're going to be like, well, she doesn't look great because that's not what I see in magazines. Wow, that's Exactly, that's what I'm used to seeing, so. But say if society then flipped the script and suddenly we started to see, you know, the, the average woman in size 12, size 14, size 16, um, in all the magazines, wearing all the, the the designers and that, that that kind of stuff. Do you actually think that's going to change course, the way society yeah, thinks? But they would be like, oh Maybe my gosh, I'm so skinny. Like, yeah, I wish really I had yeah. a bit more. Is this like the whole like? Do you know what I mean the whole bomb thing? Yeah. Before. Hey guys, it's your boy Andre Spence. I teamed up with Hills Off to bring you another exclusive. 
Three of you will have the chance of winning Palmer's Coconut Range and a month's supply of Super Malt. That's right, a month's supply of Super Malt. All you have to do is, one, subscribe to the channel, two, share the video, and three, tag Heels Off UK, Palmer's UK, Super Malt, and Andre Spence. Winners will be selected next week. Hey, it's Ashley here, and I'm joined with Fifi. Hello. <laughs> and she's trying to get me to get healthy, and she's bought me, what is this? So this is avocado on toast. Okay. Yeah. And what is inside the mushy avocado? Because I can see loads of bits in there. Yeah, so it's got some curry, black pepper, salt, and um, chilli flakes as well. Yeah, some chilli flakes. So it's quite hot. Yeah, I like spicy food. So on the toast as well, I've got some scotch bonnet jam mm -hmm. that I bought recently and it's, it's really nice, I think. And when do you think I should eat this? Because it doesn't look like it's a meal where I can eat it for dinner or lunch. It looks like maybe breakfast. <laughs> yeah, it's more of a breakfast lunch thing, especially mm -hmm. if you're the kind of person that doesn't eat a lot for breakfast. But I don't yeah. really like breakfast. I actually skip breakfast. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Yeah, so you should start <laughs> eating breakfast. Um, but um, yeah, it's more of a breakfast thing for me, mm -hmm. or it could be for lunch, depending on how hungry you are. As well. Okay. Because it's avocado, is yeah. it good for your skin? Apparently and avocado oil yeah. is quite good and it's good for cooking with as well. So okay. if you ever get the oil, you should try cooking with it. And it's kind of tasteless, so it wouldn't like taint your food. Mm -hmm. But apparently it's really good for your skin and your hair. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah. Well, I'll yeah. actually try it then. If it's good for my hair and my skin, <laughs> then I guess I'll try it. Yeah, I think I think you'd like it, but we'll see. Shall I go for it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> this is actually nice. It's a bit peppery. Yeah, this is a jam. But, but it's nice, I like it. No, it's actually nice. Like, I actually like it. <laughs> and good. I like pepper. So. <laughs> so, Try it out, guys. <laughs> Hey ladies, you know how I'm the most unfit here? Like literally, I eat sweets all day and I hate vegetables. I eat chocolate for breakfast. I'm a carb. Get worse than me. I'm a I carb. stay in bed yeah. and eat sweets at night. Kebab twice a week. I pizza, bread, <laughs> I rice. I'm such a I have carb. two 12s a day. Are you serious? Three Red Bulls a day. <laughs> I tend to go to five guys three yeah. times a week. I'm a problem. Yeah. Obviously, we don't know exactly what's good for us yeah. and what's not good for us. So I thought, let's invite Josh, Who's personal Josh? trainer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, oh. Hello, Josh. Right, Where do you oh, come Josh. from? Josh. Oh. Hello, Josh. Hi, Josh. Oh. Oh. Hi. 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 Was like chocolate in the middle. <laughs> Ryan's it up. Yeah. <laughs> um. OK, so Josh, how can we like get fit and stuff? What should we, what should we be eating? Yeah. you got to eat a little bit often, you know, so if I love food personally. Yeah. So I hate telling people stop eating what you like. Mm. It's just about sort of like knowing how much to eat, when to eat it. Can I still eat chocolate for breakfast? No, it's not allowed. What about carbs? <laughs> what about carbs? See, I eat so much bread. I was telling the girls, I eat so much bread, mm. yeah. rice. Mm. rice. And you know, I'm day. African, like I can't live without carbs, like rice or spaghetti or mm. macaroni. Yeah. Right, what do I do? Like, How do I replace it? Yeah. People, I, I don't know. I have a lot of carbs as well, naturally. Cultural, cult culturally, we were, we always have high high carbs, high yes. carbs. I like to say people who want to um, lose weight, they say, oh, I'm gonna cut all my carbs. I'm yeah. not gonna have no. You need carbs. Your body needs carbs. Mm. So what you gotta do is sort of break it down throughout the day. Mm. Days maybe you're exercising, have more carbs. Days you're not exercising, have less carbs because you need it. It's mm. an energy source. Mm. So how often should we be exercising? Should we should we actually exercise, or is it like walking to the train station? To go <laughs> it's it's not exercise enough. It's physical activity, but it's not exercise. Like vig mm. moderate intensity, whether it's vigorous or not, you need to sort of exercise three to four so times you have a week. Sweat, basically. Yeah, you got. How sweat. long for? Because I'm I'm thinking an hour. <laughs> <laughs> an hour. I, I, I was thinking thirty minutes. I, I hate being in the gym over an hour. I like to get yeah. in, do my job, and get out. I hate out. gym. Mm -hmm. I prefer to run on the street or in nature. Like yeah, the gym ain't for everyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's, it's just about, you can, I mean, you can exercise in the park, you can exercise in your house. You know, we were also talking about like having the whole beach body ready thing as well. Yeah. So what would you, if, say we wanted to have like, you know, flat abs and what, what would you advise? Um, eat a little bit often. And what about exercises? Exercises, you want to sort of do high intense 
You don't want to just go on a treadmill. People go on treadmills for like three hours and think they're and just that gonna does nothing. Yeah. But it, I heard it, running not, was good. Cardio is good. Yeah. But in the industry, it's like cardio, cardio, cardio to lose fat. Yeah. I believe sort of having the mixture between weight resistance training and cardio is the best. Yeah, what is weight yeah. resistance? Yeah. So just, I'm just, like shaking just my like, head like I understand. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Just like dumbbells, you know, girls squatting with bars or whatever, that sort of thing. Just so squatting works for your ass as well. Yeah. Yeah. It does. You got to lift heavy if you want to. You know, but does it make it more charged though? Then it create a bum. bum. That's yeah. very important. Can it create a bum? Did you yeah. say? Like a bigger ass. I've yeah. seen it. It does. Like you've got, you've got to eat. You've actually got to eat. Okay. Because you know, you've got to fuel. I mean, it's not just the muscle ain't just gonna expand. You've got to actually fuel it before and then right. fuel it after. How do I know that fat, fat, fat will go to my dairy? Yeah. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. But what tends to happen? I mean, if you're working out and you're you've worked your ass muscle, you've worked, you've worked those glutes, the cheeks, yeah? Mm. Then, when you eat, that, that muscle there. needs to be recovered, so the fuel goes there. Okay. Oh. Yeah. But does it stop it from going everywhere else? Because no, yeah. when I put on weight, it goes to my face, my arms, Same. my stomach, places I don't yeah. want it to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, it. no matter how much I eat, it doesn't go to my hips or my thighs or my bum. Mm. Mm. I just feel like I'm just not built to have meat there. Yeah, everything starts in your mind, because yeah. I used to be like the kind of person that I would just exercise, exercise, exercise and not eat. Yeah. Like literally not eat because um, I want to be a certain weight. Mm -hmm. And I've never really been big, um, but I know my body and I know when I feel like I look my best when I'm under yeah. a certain weight. Mm. Um, and sometimes it can get extreme to the point where I'm literally like not eating at all and I'm starving myself because I want to yeah. like... Get to that, weight that loss, point. Yeah. anyone yeah. can lose weight mm. very you easily. You can starve and lose weight, but mm. it's not healthy. It's yeah. about losing yeah. weight healthily yeah. and maintaining and being able to keep mm. it off, keep mm. off the weight. Yeah, you I know? mean, what about waist trainers? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, waist trainers. Like a, I, does, I, does, I, does it I, inside? Does it work? Work. We want to know, does it work? If I have a like, bit of herbal life and, and waist training, you know, <laughs> yeah. that I think it's crushing in your insides. That's what I believe. I don't think it's not natural. It's like. It's just Why another quick fix. I personally hate it. Work? Hate does it work? I don't know if it works. It's only been encouraging, <laughs> like looking like this. Why? Your body's not no, like that. No, no, it's like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it's, it's too much. It's the whole mindset thing. It's, yeah, like, you yeah. think so that you have to have a tiny waist and massive hips yeah. Yeah. to yeah. look like a woman and look feminine. So I think, I think we should like maybe talk a little bit about the whole positive thinking and it positive the wellness yeah. in your mind before you actually start working about the, working out yeah. the exterior. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, what tips would you give in order for other people to have like a positive mind? Um, I'd like to say, and you can keep this one, yeah, you can keep this for yourself. <laughs> the mind achieves, the, the body achieves what the mind believes. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. it's, all, it's, always, yeah. Yeah. it's always mind over matter. So you gotta believe that you can't go in it half-hearted like yeah. like wish wishy washy. You can't say oh I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm not gonna eat well. It's all you've gotta just be hundred percent in there. It's mm. eighty percent nutrition, twenty percent exercise. People like to skip the hard work. You know what I mean? They want the easy way in. You gotta you gotta work hard. You gotta yeah. graft for for the body you want, and that's I, where I the mind comes. I think we should in. do it. I think we need to. Put in some hard graft and hard work, girls. What do yeah. you think? Let's work out. From tomorrow. Oh, what? God. Let's work out. Or yeah. from today? Yeah. <laughs> Not now. Today. We start, we start right. today. We start right now. I'm on it. Okay. Let's Are do you guys it. serious? <laughs> <laughs> She's got the hardest one. Like You're gonna I've burn, got the hardest one. Burning those legs. She's got the hardest one. Burning the legs, all right? <laughs> What you're gonna do for me is a squat, okay? Yes. With the resistance band as they are around yes. your thighs. The bomb will rise, yes. <laughs> by force, I'm by force, okay. by force. <laughs> All right, so make sure your technique's right. Take, take your feet a little wider, super. Go bend through those knees, back nice and straight, super. The yeah. You're gonna skip your heart out 30 seconds, all right? You've got lateral raises, so you're gonna get those shoulders nice and toned up, all right? So you're gonna stand in there. Fitness model over it. Yeah. Yeah. She's ready. And then is. we're gonna go rounds on the mitts. No yeah. pun intended. Shout out to all my exes. <laughs> <laughs> cool, brilliant. So we're gonna run the clock. Thirty seconds work. Give it everything you got. Yeah. I'm is, ready. Is, you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I am ready. Are you ready? Trust me, I am ready. All right, cool. Muhammad Ali. In positions. Okay. Mercedes Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. You got pants. You got pants. I do. I cool. do. Thirty seconds. Go. Ali. Yeah. 
That was wicked. That actually hurt, you know. I loved it. Yeah. Wow. You got cardio burn. It's gonna last me a week. I'm done. That felt good. So, like, how many times should I do this a week to be fit? You can do it three or four times a week. And then I can eat bread. On and then my chocolate bread before. Burn those calories. Before. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cheap? No, it's not cheating. But then, you're are you fueling not... your body, like I said. You need the energy. You need that source. Oh, so you need yeah? carbs then? Of course you do. Okay. Every day. This was really Every fun. Day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do this. Look, you know what it is? So you get a rest period. We're going to go again for a second round. 30 seconds work. Wow. Yeah? No, yeah? No, no, we're not done. We're not done. See, I said what hard work. I didn't was. say it. I didn't no, say it. That was it. That was it. You got to work for that. Cool. Okay. Who's ready? In position. Right, Muhammad Ali never stopped. Why should I? <laughs> <laughs> Low. Okay, cool. Right. Oh my days. All right. Okay. Okay. In positions. I'm getting okay. a bit of sweat on his ground on no, here as well. It's not. Mad. Cool. In positions. Yeah. 30 seconds on the clock. Go. Hard work. Hey. What's oh, right, oh. you guys? Are you guys up for? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Hey, hey, keep going, keep going. Hey, keep those arms straight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, we've got speed training over here. Oh, okay. Mayweather out here. Five, four, three, two, one, and, re and relax. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, that was good. Is that all right? So what you would do, you could switch, even if you did it in a group, if you did it with a friend in a park, it could be in your house, in your garden, switch exercises as you go around. So do five rounds, five exercises, you do one exercise each. You want to get the burn going on, on it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 same time. I'll meet you there. <laughs> Thanks oh, a lot, Josh. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, you can always life. you can always shout me for a little personal oh, training. Oh, um, for free? Can we see what's no. going on down here? Huh? Can we, can we see? Ah. Uh, there's not a lot. Take uh, it up, take it up. There's not a lot going on over there. Take it up, take it up. Hey, take it up. I can't take say it's all off, but you know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You've got to do the test. You've got to do the test. Yeah, you've got to do the record test. Lift it. Hey. Yeah. I'm, I'm sweaty, I'm sweaty. You certified. are black. Certified. It's certified. Yeah, cool. Yeah, how am I like? I'm not even fine with form. I'm not even fine with form yet. No, he does personal training, guys, so it's not oh. about it. Hey guys, make sure you tweet, like, and join in the debate by using the hashtag HillsOn. I'm not trying to say I'm not part of the problem, do you know yeah. what I mean? But I just feel like we're being controlled. For us to use those words, it doesn't look nice to look at. That's her body. Mm. So yeah. she's going on a holiday, she wants to wear a bikini, she's got a bit of a belly and she wants to tan her belly well, as well as her face. She can do it. It's her body. <laughs> Who are you? Like, I'm telling you, yeah, if society wasn't so focused on it, then we wouldn't care either. All of yeah. us would just be yeah. free. free. Yeah. But do you know yeah. what I mean? It's just, it's, it's, it's too much. It's so too much control. Do you think that it starts in your mind? Like the way you view yourself, like inwardly, is how you're going to react outwardly. Yeah. 100%. Thinking. Yeah, that's 100%. true. No, but me personally, my body, I've gone on holiday. I went on, on holiday last, w last year. And basically I've got like a food belly. I call it a food belly. <laughs> and, but I like it because I think it's me. Uh, like, I want to know who and what are the society that is dictating this. Magazines. Oh, actually, yeah, everything. Magazines. Celebrities. Celebrities. Yeah. 
It yeah. doesn't necessarily yeah, have to be the part of the problem. I'm not gonna act like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's one of those things. I can't change it. Do you know what I mean? I mean? It's not something I can change, but... But if we're complaining about like, it, why yeah. can't I we change it? I think it's because society is just obsessed with, like, perfection. Yeah. You know, you've got to look... You know, that's why they Photoshop images on magazines. You've got to look perfect. You yeah. have to have your hair a certain way. You've got to look trim and be in a, t I don't know, certain physique. You just have to. So if we're taking... that were like plastered all around the underground and it was basically asking if we were beach body ready but yet it had like the most chiseled defined slimmer than naomi campbell body plastered on the wall now it kind of makes me think like what are the actual definitions of real beauty because i don't look like that and i don't know if you guys think you look like that but it's just kind of it's a weird one, isn't it? I don't it? even think the woman in the advert actually looked like that, to be I honest. Know. Exactly, it's Photoshop. 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 <laughs> Photoshop. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, it's just a weird one. Like, I know we've got, like, Instagram kind of giving us, you know, the perfect waist, the perfect yeah. bum, perfect lips. But And it's just too much competition or yeah. too much, you know, expectation. It's yeah. a weird one. I mean, I think, for me, like, the perfect beach body is my body. Do you know what I mean? Like... However I am, it should be fine. I don't think anyone has a right to say, oh, beach body must look like this. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I, don't, I also don't like the term real woman curves mm -hmm. and stuff like that, because what does that mean? Do I don't you know have what I mean? no curves, but I know I'm a woman. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree. <laughs> what does that even mean? Do you mm. know what I mean? So I think it is a lot of pressure to have this but, beach body. Can, but. but if you think about it, like, when we are going on those beach holidays, everyone's trying to look a certain way Literally, to yeah. fit into <laughs> whatever bikini. But is it society or maybe it's just us? No, it's society. It's society. Because we have to look a certain way to feel good. But then would you feel comfortable wearing a bikini with your belly and your fupa hanging out? No, no not at all. I would find no, something no. that I think would be appropriate for my body shape. Yeah, that's what so I'm saying. So yeah. I think it's also just, I mean, the whole beach body thing, if they were encouraging, you know, healthy living, then that's fine. But they had a mixed message, which was the words and the image that they used. So I can understand the whole, I would say, feminist uproar. Why they were like, yeah. why must I look like this before yeah. I'm accepted? Why yeah. can I not? Why can't I hit the beach? You know, well, if you I'm... think about it, though, the guy who actually invented bikinis, yeah. he made them for slim women. women. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're large or on the larger side, yeah. I wouldn't advise you to be walking around in a bikini. That's uh, me personally, yeah. because yeah. it doesn't look nice. Yeah. It doesn't look Facts. attractive. You can't have like your belly just hanging over your bikini bottoms and mm. like just fat. Like you can't, yeah. like, is, is that an honestly like a comfortable feeling? No, oh. but. Well, I but what if you're comfortable with it? What if, you're, what what if you feel comfortable like, with it? It then doesn't what? look nice. Yeah, like who are you to tell me that do I don't mean, look again, nice? It's got some curry, black pepper, salt, and um, chili flakes as well. Yeah, chili flakes. So it's quite hot. Yeah, I like spicy food. So on the toast as well, I've got some Scotch bonnet jam mm -hmm. that I bought recently, and it's it's really nice, I think. And when do you think I should eat this? Because it doesn't look like it's a meal where I can eat it for dinner or lunch. It looks like maybe breakfast. <laughs> yeah, it's more of a breakfast lunch thing, especially mm -hmm. if you're the kind of person that doesn't eat a lot for breakfast. But I don't yeah. really like breakfast. I actually skip breakfast. That's not good. Oh. Yeah, so you should <laughs> start eating breakfast. Um, but... Um, yeah, it's more of a breakfast thing for me, mm. or it could be for lunch, depending on how hungry you are. Well. Okay. Because it's avocado, is yeah. it good for your skin? Apparently, and avocado oil yeah. is quite good, and it's good for cooking with as well. So okay. if you ever get the oil, you should try cooking with it. And it's kind of tasteless, so it wouldn't like taint your food. Mm -hmm. But apparently, it's really good for your skin and your hair. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah. And I'll yeah. actually try it then. If it's good for my hair and my skin, <laughs> then I guess I'll try it. Yeah, I think I think you'd like it, but we'll see. Shall I go for it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this is actually nice. It's 
a bit peppery. Yeah. Taking everything that we see in magazine into reality or what we see on the beach, we're going to be like, well, she doesn't look great because that's not what I see in magazines. That's, that's what, exactly, that's what I'm used to seeing, so. But say if society then flipped the script and suddenly we started to see, you know, the, the average woman in size 12, size 14, size 16, um, in all the magazines, wearing all the, the the designers and that, that kind of stuff. Do you actually think that's going to change course, the way society yeah, thinks? But they will be like, oh my gosh, I hate being so skinny. Like, yeah, I wish really I had yeah. a bit more. Is this like you know? the whole like, Do you know what I mean, the whole bomb thing now? Yeah. Like, that's like Before, before. Like, yeah. before. Like, yeah. Hey guys, it's your boy Andre Spence. I teamed up with Hills Off to bring you another exclusive. Three of you will have the chance of winning Palmer's Coconut Range and a month's supply of Super Malt. That's right, a month's supply of Super Malt. All you have to do is one, subscribe to the channel. Two, share the video. And three, tag Heels Off UK, Palmer's UK, Supermalt, and Andre Spence. Winners will be selected next week. Hey, it's Ashley here, and I'm joined with Fifi. Hello. <laughs> and she's trying to get me to get healthy. And she's bought me, what is this? So this is avocado on toast. Okay. Yeah. And what is inside the mushy avocado? Because I can see loads of bits in there. Yeah, so 